Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now, this is a reading that is uh, dedicated to the sign of Taurus. And that being said, um, this reading here is a general reading, so it is not going to resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest of it aside. If ever you do have any questions and you would like to um, have a personal reading because you're looking for some answers that you just can't get, people just don't want to give you those answers or you don't want to ask them, um, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com so I can um, send you the different type of readings that I can offer you so I can go and find those answers for you. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, may you be a new um, a new visitor to my channel, or may it have been a few times that you've been here. I do thank you so very much for coming to see me, and if you would, please click the subscribe button. It would be mostly appreciated. So, with no further ado, I'm going to begin a reading here. Now, this is a reading, as I said, is for the sign of Taurus. It's a different type of reading than what I usually do. Um... It's a new deck that I've received, which is entitled The Blind Spot. Now, The Blind Spot is all about something that you do not know, okay? Something that maybe you do know, but most people don't even really think about. And it's really about your blind spot. So what are you not seeing? What is in your unconscious that is creating you some problems into your love relationships? So I'm going to uh, take a card like this. We're going to talk about this card for a couple of minutes. I'm going to tell you about the different details about it how you can tap into it and then I'm going to give you a little bit of an oracle of a heart and soul and we're going to go with a lover's oracle as well. So um, with no further ado let's begin with your blind spot and your blind spot is for this lovely sign which really doesn't mean much to you huh? <laughs> me neither but it is a quite a beautiful card but actually it is the symbol here is a sigil so um, so let's begin. This one is all called uh, bypassing. Okay, so this is all about bypassing and this, my dear friends, Taurus is your special blind spot. This really affects Taurus. So now when you get this card, okay, when you pull out this card, what you do not see is that you are bypassing in this situation. Bypassing is a coping mechanism that leads you to believe that actual resolution has taken place when really it hasn't at all. So bypassing or whitewashing is the act of using beliefs to avoid facing or healing one's painful feelings or one's unresolved wounds and to unmet the needs. It is a state of pure avoidance because it is a state of avoidance it is a state of resistance you are resisting spiritual beliefs on any spiritual tradition and even simply society beliefs can provide ample justification for living in a state of unauthenticity they can all provide justification for avoiding the unwanted aspects of one's own feelings and state of being in favor of what is considered to be a more enlightened or virtuous state of being. In today's world, we have little tolerance for working through our pain. We much prefer instantaneous solutions that involve numbing our pain. Okay? we do this all the time okay this is why there are so many also so many medications out there that people are taking it's really the effect of something that we want to quickly numb so we don't feel the pain anymore when we whitewash over our issues and try to avoid them it is premature and a false transcendence and it is dangerous because it sets up a major division internally it creates a definable split between where we really are and where we think we should be. It also enables us to lie to ourselves and delude ourselves and live our lives through the projection of a false self. And this is not integration. This is a selective identification. Now, when we have been hurt, we so often suppress 
we deny and we disown the part of us that feels those raw and unresolved feelings and identify with a coping part of ourselves that is just beyond it all. We cannot heal unless we are willing to admit to where we are and who we are. Bypassing is like breaking your leg, but being unwillingly to admit. Putting a plaster over the compound fracture and trying to continue forward anyway. If you have drawn this card, you may be using positives to deny, reject and disown the negatives. For example, you may be using higher spiritual truths to invalidate the part of lower dimensional reality that you find very unpleasant. You may be convinced that you are somewhere you are not. So you need to ask yourself different type of questions to yourself that you feel right. Um, in this situation, am I avoiding a certain fact? Am I using certain beliefs to avoid my pain or a problem? Do I feel like the spiritual me is different from the embodied me? Am I using a belief to justify an insecurity within myself? Am I using spirituality? or anything else for that matter, to avoid looking at things in my reality that I would rather just didn't think exists? These are all these questions that you need to ask yourself when you get this card, okay? So this is really your blind spot. So your blind spot is all about bypassing. So we're going to move over now to the um, Oracle card and the Oracle card here of the heart and soul is all about do not discount your imagination for it has great power. Amazing things will unfold for you if you pay attention to your imagination. Respect and honor it for just below the surface of this seemingly real world there exists a dreamlike world full of imagination. And what you imagine is not fiction. Very often it can be the beginning of a new wonderful creation. And for the Lover's Oracle, I have for you, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and we create unnecessary stress. So please go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. So this, my dear friends, um, is your blind spot of the day. So I really do hope that you enjoyed it. There's an awful lot of information I know within one card, but it is also very essential to understand it and to apply it so it's no longer a problem for us. It will no longer be a blind spot. So uh, if you would like to have a reading on any type of subject, please do contact me at romanceviltarot at gmail.com. In the meanwhile, I do hope that you enjoyed this type of reading. I don't do them all that often, but they are very soul searching. I do enjoy them. Um, have a great day. Many blessings to you. Please don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for the following readings and have a blessed day. Thank you so much for being there.